any noise to let us know that you're here. Our hair standing on end. Everybody here? I think that ghosts are everywhere. They walked up behind us. If that was you, can you do that again? Footsteps. If that was you, can you do that again? Buffalo Billiards, a two-story sports bar that took over a vacant building at the corner of 6th Street and Brazos in 1999. From the start, lots of people got the impression that this vacant building, sometimes it feels like there's somebody standing right behind me, was never really empty at all. And I'll turn around and there's nothing there. This employee, who doesn't want to be identified, believes what's happening sounds crazy. In upstairs in the rec room, or it's the old Orbit Lounge, um, walk through and you'll get a cold spot, you'll get chills. At that point, usually it feels like there's someone right with you. After hearing the stories, we decided to send in a crew to see if they could catch something on camera. for me. Also on this spooky slumber party, Rebecca Condello, a paranormal enthusiast who carried a digital audio recorder. She tried to communicate with whatever or whomever is causing the activity. We're listening if you want to tell us something. Hoping to catch an EVP or electronic voice phenomenon. What many paranormal researchers believe are voices from beyond. Can you make any noise to let us know that you're here? If that was you, can you do that again? I heard a woman. Did you hear a woman? Another employee made a disturbing discovery. She and a co-worker turned the lights on one morning to find handprints on several pool tables. The handprints were small, the size of children's. Like a game of hide and seek, the apparition of a small boy has also been seen running through the kitchen doors. And what the staff may not know, children have been seen here before, 160 years ago. The Zillers first came to Austin in the early 1840s. It was Michael Ziller, who was kind of the pioneer of the Ziller family. And we do know that it was the home of the Ziller family, and that's where uh, his sons, uh, August Ziller, was a, another uh, big merchant in Austin. He, uh, considered one of the pioneer merchants of Austin. He was born at the Missouri House. At least five Ziller children were born in the home that was converted to the Missouri House in 1861, Austin's first boarding home. The location would play host to several different families and businesses as the growing capital of Texas evolved. During the time that it has been there, it has been usually commerce on the first story and then families living on the second story. And my guess is the residual energy that's still in that building that we can get evidence from has to do with um, those families. Janine Plummer, the founder of Austin Ghost Tours, thinks the paranormal activity is residual, like history, repeating itself over and over again. Places are often haunted because people spend a lot of time there, not necessarily because there's a dramatic death, but more of an emotional connection. Do you boys have any say fear maybe being alone here or going to certain places here? Absolutely. There are some employees that won't come upstairs by themselves in the, in the dark. The rec room is where footsteps are heard. It stopped and then we just started discussing it and then maybe 30 seconds later it started going up the stairs and like every other stair was cracking like, man, something that weighed like four or 600 pounds was walking on the stairs. We also caught the sound of floorboards creaking. And employees have reportedly heard whispers and seen bar stools shake. The back staircase in the rec room, that's where the apparitions of two women have been seen. One who appears to be dressed in Victorian era clothing. In particular, a woman who um, lived and had a, a hat shop. She maintained that business and lived upstairs and would take on young girls who needed, like as a boarding house. That's who I suspect is still there. While our investigation only turned up a few anomalies, something we caught on audio surprised everyone. Did you used to live in the boarding house? Listen to that again. 
think that ghosts are everywhere, and I think it's interesting to find out who they are because they often tell stories of the past. And we can learn about our city actually through ghosts. Buffalo Billiards employees have learned that, like it or not, history sometimes speaks in ways not everyone wants to hear. Not knowing what it is, that's probably the scariest thing. Joe Bickett, Fox 7 News Edge.